be different. Yay, I got bangs for right now. So yeah, I'm changed up my whole fucking look right here. <laughs> hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my finding my wedding dress experience and some tips and tricks um, to give you guys. And I'm not a very good advice giver, so I do apologize for that. As you guys know, I'm not very good at explaining anything. So bear with me. Hope you enjoyed this video anyways, and let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> So I got married almost a year ago, it's so crazy that it's coming up on our one year anniversary. Can I just say, what the fuck? <laughs> the year has flew by, cannot believe it, and um, yeah, anyways, so I started picking my dress out um, in July of last year, and can we just say I got married in September, so that's really 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 not that much time to find the dress and plan a wedding it's really um, I don't recommend doing that so first advice um, plan your wedding in advance because you could just have a little bit more time to get your shit together <laughs> because I had no time really but you know for someone that's gonna have like a small wedding and just fight your close family and friends really for me I felt like it wasn't a big deal like to I know be at the last minute planning my wedding and um, if you guys watch my complicated love story that's kind of another reason why my wedding was planned at the last minute because it was after we quit our jobs at the dollar store and we was finally free so if you guys have not seen those videos you guys probably don't understand what I'm talking about so you should go watch those and then come back to this video and then you might understand that part but that's not why I'm here to talk about that today so I'm gonna get right to the point now because um, this don't make any fucking sense so yeah I decided to go to a couple hours away I wanted I knew I kind of wanted to go to like a David's bridal I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that you probably have because they have commercials on TV all the time I don't know if they just have them on the East Coast or if they're out on the West Coast or wherever you guys live if you haven't heard of it they got a website so yeah go check it out but anyways, I had a positive experience at David's Bridal, and I would give it a 4, four out of 5 rating, and that's pretty good in my opinion. Um, I was very satisfied with my experience there, and the girls that helped me find a dress, pick my dress out, were very helpful, and they made me feel like the star of a... Um, of a show or something. Um, and what I mean by that is I'll just kind of explain. So. You go in and, you know, you gotta, I think you, I don't know if you have to sign a couple papers or something or just fill out some information about yourself or something like that. And then they, you get with the person that is assigned to you, whatever they're called, and I'm sorry that I can't think of that right now, but they take you and you're, you just tell them like the size of dress that you wear. Um, what you're interested in, what you're looking for, and they take you right to it, what's your price range, and that's another thing that I recommend knowing is having a budget and having a price range. It'll make it a lot easier for you to narrow down the dress that you want to have. So I kind of knew what my budget was. My mom let me know what my budget was, okay? Yeah, it was a she did not hesitate to tell me <laughs> what or how much I could spend on a dress. So I kind of knew what kind of range I was going in for. And I think I had a pretty good range and overall still got a beautiful dress. So, and let me just say that it's not all about the dress. It's not all about paying a lot of money for a dress. It's, at the end of the day, it's about who you're getting married to and just the feeling of the whole experience of being married and I am going to make a whole separate video on my wedding day experience because that's just too long to throw in with this. So today I'm just going to be talking about picking out my dress and I hope you guys are liking this video so far because I don't even think I'm making any fucking sense like usual. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so you anyway, know, back to my dress. So we went in and I kind of knew what I was going to go for. I wanted sparkles and glitter and um, I wasn't really sure if I wanted a straight dress or if I wanted some poof. Like I think I knew I wanted a little bit of poof but I wasn't expecting to get the dress that I got but I was happy with it. 
So yeah, I picked out like five dresses to choose from. Like they take you over and they have like this long, like they have aisles and aisles of dresses, okay? So you just feel like you're just in dress heaven in there. You're just like, oh, so nice in here. So many dresses to choose from. Probably a little bit too much to fucking choose from, to be honest, because it was a little bit overwhelming. <laughs> you go in, um, so yeah. I picked out like five dresses and they have them all organized by price and size and all that which is great because it's going to help you narrow it down in there so I picked out like five dresses they take you to this like little area where they have like a little little just like a little stage and some chairs out front for your family to sit there and you know watch you try dresses on and they just kind of like take you in they help you um, get your dress on that kind of stuff and if you need like one of those slips to help you with the slips and all that to put those on underneath your dress because I did get one and I do recommend getting one if it, it did help me a lot like with my the curvature of my body it helped me look a little bit well I just you know I need to work out so <laughs> it helped kind of tone my body and slim it a little bit and also help the dress kind of look better with my body so I got the slip so I do recommend getting a slip if you are buying a dress and um, so yeah I tried on my dress five different dresses and I think a few of them were like straight dresses and I was like I, eh, I wasn't feeling the straight dresses I thought they were really pretty I felt pretty sexy in them like the straight tight dress I felt pretty sexy in them but then I was kind of thinking I feel like I'm gonna re getting ready to go to a beauty pageant and I didn't like the feeling that I was getting from the straight dresses so I knew I wanted more of a poofy dress so I tried on a couple different poofy dresses and then the last dress that I was going to try on, didn't know it was going to be the one that I was going to buy, but I knew it was different and I liked it a lot and it actually comes up around my neck and this part right down through here about halfway was all glittery and sparkly and then it just kind of comes out like a gown, like a big poofy princess dress so I tried it on I didn't really know how I was gonna feel in a poofy dress but I tried it on and I went out and my whole family was just kind of like ooh that's really really pretty and it was in my price range it was actually like a little bit more than my budget so I was kind of like yeah my mom might not let me go for this one but thankfully she did because I decided that I really really liked it and I was actually going for another dress that I had on that I was thinking about buying here in my local town at our dress store here. There was one that I was going to get there, but I really liked this one a little bit more than that one. So I felt like it was the right dress. And I, you know, talked it over with my family and um, told my mom it was the one that I really felt right in. Like I tried it on, I looked at it, and it fit well. They didn't really have my size in it, so I had to get it altered and all that, so they had to order it and all that fun stuff, and thankfully, they could order it in time before my wedding actually was, which was great, <laughs> and um, yeah. give my David's bridal experience a thumbs up and they were so helpful they really would help you find anything and the girl that I had was really really funny and really comical and just she was really nice and helpful and she also we also picked out a matching like necklace and earrings and then I also got a tiara to wear and I literally felt like a Disney princess and I kind of felt just I don't know I just felt really good in the dress that I chose so I knew that that was the right dress for me so if you guys are trying on dresses kind of just like you know what is your feeling when you're in your dress and if you guys like have that feeling of like eh, I'm not really sure then you should definitely try a few more on before you make a decision that would be my advice for you on that and um, just obviously get some feedback from your family or friends that are going with you to see if uh, you know what their opinion is on the dress but overall if 
you feel strong about it, you should definitely say yes to the dress. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So yeah, I already had shoes, so I didn't have to buy shoes, so that was great. So I recommend if you guys have like um, a really nice pair of heels that you already have, why go out and buy like another pair of heels, you know? So I was just using a pair that I already had, and yeah. So they also, um, also David's Bridal was really, really great about letting my mom have a sign up for a card. To where she could just put everything on a card because I also had to buy the slips um, I think I had two different pieces or something or maybe I just had one slip damn I can't remember now sorry about that and I also got these things for my heels so they wouldn't go into the ground because I had an outside wedding and it really was pointless because in the end they did not fit my heels so I didn't up ending up wearing them which sucked so I definitely recommend trying them things on your heels before you buy them. Um, they're just like these little plastic things that you put up under your heels so you don't sink down into the ground if you're having an outside wedding. So they're very helpful in that. But you know, I, it didn't work out for me because I didn't have my shoes there and they just didn't fit anyways. So definitely rec recommend being a little bit more um, trying stuff out before buying it. But overall, just go in with um, a really positive attitude that you're going to find a dress. I'm just not one of those people that's going to spend, like, fucking weeks to pick a dress. <laughs> like, that's just not my style. I'm very easygoing, and I'm just kind of like, I want to go in, want to get it done, want to pick it out, and just be, you know, as confident and happy with it as I am. And that's what I did. That's my personality type. So it was, it was great. It was a great day. We had a lot of fun. Um took a lot of pictures of me trying different dresses on which was cool um just the whole experience was really fun um and it was definitely a day that I'll never forget so um definitely make a day to go with some of your friends or your family whenever you go to pick your dress out it will definitely give you more confidence I think gave me more confidence and just have a positive vibe that you will find your dress and believe me you will find it when you feel right about the dress that you're in you will know and it's a great experience so I definitely recommend going to David's Bridal and um, if you guys are looking for a place that has different variety of dresses and a, um, a way for you to stay in your budget to want to spend on a dress David's Bridal is really really affordable and really really perfect and um, I actually had like a heard someone talk that the the quality of the dresses weren't made that well, but I had no issue with my dress. I thought it was um, like a, it was a really nice dress. So, um, I don't know who even said that, but you know, I'm like one of those people that always reads reviews before I go somewhere, but I am also one of those people that's got to try it for myself to experience it, or I got to try it for myself before I believe someone else. So, <laughs> That is, yeah. So that is my finding my dress and saying yes to the one that I wanted to wear on my wedding day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of weird and kind of, it was kind of weird. It was just kind of like all over the place. Sorry if I didn't explain anything very well, but I had a very good positive experience picking out my dress. And um, I just wanted you guys to know about David's Bridal. If you did not know about it, definitely check it out. And um, happy marriage. Happy happy dress hunting if you are looking for a dress and if you are you know yeah so I'm not going to talk anymore because I'm not talking very well today I'm kind of like all over the place a little bit tired today so I'm just going to go so I don't make a fool out of myself any longer <laughs> so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will make another video on my wedding day experience because um, I think it will be a good story to tell you guys because it was a very very interesting day and it was one of the best days of my life and it was also one of the scariest days of my life and I will make a video on that to tell you guys what I'm talking about okay so I'll see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching and I love you all and peace out